If you're asking yourself whether or not you should buy the Echelon for yourself in 2024, this video is for you. Keep watching. All right, let's get into it. Disclaimer before we start this video, Springfield Armory did send this out to me a long time ago when they first introduced the Echelon. I've shot well over 1,000 rounds on the Echelon, probably close to 25, 2,600 rounds. That's just the truth of it. Now, here's the thing. Should you buy the Echelon for yourself or maybe for duty use? The answer is yes. And shooting well over 2,000 rounds on the Echelon, not, sing not one single malfunction, not one anything happened unless I have physically have caused it and intentionally have induced a malfunction. Other than that, no malfunction whatsoever. And here's the crazy part. I put it on myself to not clean this gun until it actually malfunctions. So, <clears throat> excuse me, there's bugs all over. So if I cough, that's why. Man, I gotta say, overall, this pistol is such a great feeling gun. Now, I know a lot of people in the comments might just, might not like this for whatever reason, but I would ask, have you actually shot this? Have you shot it more than 500 rounds? Like, have you run and gun with it? Have you done drills? It's a very easy, very easy shooter. Um, yeah, let me pop off a couple rounds here and just, <laughs> man, it really is such a great pistol. For reference, the steel target is at 20 yards from me. Uh, shout out to shootsteel.com. Use my code JQ10 for 10% off your steel. Um, and they're local to Minnesota, so which is which is totally awesome. But man, I gotta say, the aggressive style of this grip, I love. Uh, it reminds me of a Glock, but uh, not really a Glock because it's not a Glock. And when it, when this first came out, I did a you know first impressions unboxing video. And I, I say in that video, is this the Glock killer? And I do maybe don't feel all the same um, as I do today with this pistol. Is it the Glock killer? I don't think that it is. Is it a top contender to be up there with Glock and Sig? Yeah, I do think so. That is the main reason why I love this gun. Um, and you can go back to that video that I mentioned before, but uh, the front serrations, solid. Rear serrations, could be a little bit better. The one thing that I do like about this, uh, this echelon is this right here. On my support side, I have this mini gas pedal like uh, up on the frame where I can give it all the gas and still have some texture and grip to hold on to on the frame versus the Glock or anything else may not have that, you know, for my support thumb, but that's there. All the way around this grip texture uh, along the echelon is superb. I mean, it's got it all the way around the pistol grip on the sides here, even all the way up here on the frame, if you can see this, let me zoom up like right there for, you know, resting my finger, my pointer finger. Yeah, that's solid. I love that. Um, bottom of the mag right here, it's got that texture. Um, I will say though, the one thing that I, it's kind of a negative about the, the frame, not the frame, but the magazine is that <laughs> when I was doing a YouTube short, I slammed this mag really hard on a ballistic dummy lab uh, head. Like I smashed it really hard and the spring and the bottom of this like fell somewhere. Like it just totally shot. And I'm like, I don't know where it is. I lost it. So I have the frame still, but just not the spring. Other than that, it's taken some beating. Uh, you know, as I come out here and do my thing with firearms and, and shorts uh, or videos, but like it has taken a beating uh, overall, like the entire gun. I've not cleaned it. As you can see right here on the rear uh, side here, if I can, there it is. You have some rusting, but again, uh, that's just my own personal kind of testament to see what this gun can do. So I don't clean it for that reason to see if it'll malfunction because of rust or because of something that I induced intentionally. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, keep going. I really hope I don't shoot this camera. <laughs> so, oh man. This is a large duty size gun. Now, if I was back in law enforcement, this would definitely be, like I said, one of those top contender firearms where I would want to get it approved so I can carry it on duty. Now, would it ever get it approved? I'm hearing that uh, actually in Minneapolis, they're e they either have it already or they're fighting to get something like the Echelon approved for all their police officers. That is from 
I got that from a friend of mine who works in the police department in Minneapolis. That may not be the case now. I don't really know, I've not followed up. Like, why wouldn't you use the Echelon as an everyday, you know, duty gun? Like, that's what it's meant for. It's, it's built like that. And... I mean, everything about this gun just feels like a full-size duty gun. To me, it's up there with the Glock 17, Glock 45. And man, like I said, yeah, I would run this on duty if I was a cop again or I'd try to get this approved. The Echelon paired with the 6360 by Safari Land. I mean, it's just a great combo uh, and it's worked out really well for me. Uh, and I can, you know, draw really fast out of the holster. You know, if I'm really trying, totally missing my, what the heck? <laughs> to feel like the freaking agent. <laughs> you know, if you're wanting to spend the seven, 800, maybe 900 bucks after you get an optic and a holster and a flashlight, yeah, do it. You know, if you want to replace your everyday carry and you carry full-size handguns, this would be a no problem, a no brainer for you. If you wanna upgrade or switch out your home defense weapon to a pistol that's like this, yeah, go for it. And the fact that it's such a flat shooter too, For a sec, I thought I was about to malfunction there on camera. I was like, whoa, for the first time. If you wanna go and get it, go get it. You're not gonna be disappointed. It's, it's gonna be a good gun for you. You're gonna like it. If you already enjoy and like the uh, aggressive grip that Glock offers, you'll love something like this. So go pick it up. Um, but overall, that is my two cents on the Hopefully this video helped you out into, you know, the deciding factor of whether or not you should purchase this gun. Uh, go do it. It's going to be great. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next Johnny Q video. Peace.